This is the full beginner guide for Fruit Battleground. Real quick before the video starts though, as y'all can see, we are currently at 41,300 subscribers. Our goal is to reach 45,000 subscribers, so make sure you guys like and smash that subscribe button with all bell notifications on. If you guys want to join my Discord server along some Roblox group, link will be in the pinned comment slash description below. Anyways, without further ado, let's get right into it. Oh, right boys. So what you want to first do is go in game. And this is the main menu. This is what it looks like currently. All you want to do first is click on spin fruit. Okay, so once you're here, here is your fruit storage. Now, there are three or four free slots. So this is free, this is free, this is free, and this is free. The other slots you got to buy with Robux, which is kind of unfortunate, but it's fine. Just have your first slot equipped. Go back and then go to your spin fruit right here in the chest. Once you are here, you should already have 500 starting gems if you are a complete beginner and you just started uh, this game because that's how much you get for the starting player. Now, fast spins cost you 80 gems per spin and slow spins cost you 50. I would just recommend doing slow spins. There's no point in doing fast spins. But before you actually spin any fruit, what you want to do is redeem some codes so on the bottom left corner of the screen as y'all can see here's the code section and this is where you guys will redeem all your codes now to redeem codes first you guys want to go and head on over to google once you guys are at google all you want to do is search up fruit battle grounds code and once you do that it should pop up with a bunch of different sites for codes and stuff the one I would recommend is uh, Pocket Tactics because that's the one I use. But all you want to do is scroll down and here should be all the codes that are currently available. Now, if you guys are watching as soon as I upload this video, then you guys should have all these codes available to you. But if you're watching like a couple months, a lot of these codes might be expired, but there might be new ones as well. So it just depends on what, whenever you're watching. All you want to do is redeem all the codes. Just copy the codes and then go back to the game and keep on pasting them like this. As y'all can see, I redeemed the code and that gave me 500 gems. So I'm going to redeem all the codes real quick and I'll be right back in just a second. Two seconds later. Okay, boys, there we go. As y'all can see, by redeeming all the codes, I ended up with 4,650 gems. And this was with the starting gems as well. So. If you guys already spent your starting gems, you guys should end up with 4,150 gems. And that's only if you guys are watching like in a few days or as soon as I upload this video. Because codes expire, they sometimes they get new codes. You guys get the gist. And one more thing uh, before I start actually spinning. As y'all can see, if I try to redeem this, it's going to say invalid or expired code. That's what it basically says if a code is unredeemable. So if it says that, that just means the code is unredeemable and just move on to the next code. Now, you guys should have some gems from the codes that you guys actually redeemed. After that, all you want to try to do is try to spin for an epic, a legendary, or a mythical fruit. I'm not going to lie, bro. There's so many mythicals and legendaries. So if you guys are lucky and there's a lot of codes out then you guys could probably get a legendary however if you guys do get an epic that's fine too so yeah let's go try to spin for an epic legendary or mythic group
Oh, right, boys. As y'all can see, I got the paw fruit. It's an epic fruit with a spin chance of 0.75%. Now, the thing is, if you guys get an epic fruit before the gems run out, just go to the next slot and equip it. It should have three or four free slots, as y'all can see. And all you want to do is equip the slot that has no fruit in it, because then you won't be uh, spinning away your epic fruit and whatnot. If you do manage to get like a legendary or a mythical fruit, then that's fine. You don't actually have to just go to another slot and try to spin for a better fruit because I feel as though legendary and mythical are good enough. But if you get an epic and you still have some gems saved up, just try to go for that legendary or mythical. And I'm going to do that because I have 2000 gems left. Okay, boys. So unfortunately, I did run out of gems, but that's fine. Real quick before I actually quit one of my fruits, I want to talk about the pity system. So basically, if you guys look on the bottom right corner of the screen, my legendary pity right now is 92 out of 320. My epic pity is 51 out of 160 and my rare pity 70, 17 out of 80. Every time you spin like a rare fruit, the rare pity will reset. Epic and legendary, it's the same thing. If you spin a legendary, the legendary pity resets. However, let's say you don't get um you don't get a legendary fruits and you spun forever let's say you're at like 319 spins and you still haven't gotten it once you reach that 320th spin it's gonna guarantee you a legendary and there's one more thing to the legendary pity you can actually get a mythical fruit as well with the legendary pity but that's a very very rare occurrence i've actually gotten a leopard fruit on my legendary pity on stream just once and it was crazy bro i think i've also gotten okay before on stream on my legendary pity which is kind of crazy but it is super rare so most likely most likely you're probably gonna get a legendary now the part i hate about the pity system is there's a pity reset timer as well so basically you got like about five hours until all the pities uh reset and i don't really like this because if you can't like manage to get enough gems to spin to your legendary pity or whatever pity you're trying to go for then the thing's gonna reset after a certain amount of time so you guys do have to grind fast which kind of sucks but hey man i guess whatever all right so once you've spun for the epic fruits or higher or whatever all you want to do is pick the best fruit that you have currently now you can search up a fruit tier list if you'd like but i would say if you can get skilled at a lot of the fruits it's pretty balanced so yeah right now i would say for me love is the best fruit i'm very good with the love fruit too so i'm just gonna keep the love fruit and equip it and hop in game okay boys here we are in game and i am in a private server but if you guys load into a public server there might be a lot of fighting going on there might be a lot of people and stuff and they might try to kill you as soon as you get out the safe zone right here where you spawn is the safe zone so nobody can attack you and you can't attack anybody else if you're in the safe zone but as soon as you leave people are gonna start attacking you so just be careful on that now the way you level up is you can kill other players and stuff you can uh go do bosses and stuff too if you want but we'll get on to that later first i want to show you guys how to actually level up if you just use your moves whatever it's gonna start leveling you up bro if i keep on using my first move it's gonna level me up to level two level three so on and so forth different moves actually give you a different amount of xp too so if i do this one more time as y'all can see i leveled up again and with every level you actually gain gems too which is very very nice now if you have an epic fruit all you want to do is reach level 100 with it and the reason why i say that is because if i scroll down on the titles as y'all can see there's so many titles with reach level 100 with sand fruit flame fruit barrier fruits bomb fruit whatever the fruit there's like so 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 many level 100 things uh with fruits and stuff and the reason why you want to get these titles is because you can actually evolve fruits in this in this game and there's so many fruits you could evolve right now there's a flame version 2 fruit you can evolve from flame there's a there's a dark x quaking uh evolve from using the darkness fruit and the quake fruit together there's a Nico fruit you can evolve from time skip rubber. There's a dragon version 2 fruit you can evolve from dragon. There's basically a lot of <laughs> fruits that you can evolve. So make sure you guys get the titles by reaching level 100 epic fruits. Now the titles can actually give you different, uh, what are it's called? Different colors and stuff too. 
this is basically uh the color that will pop up in the chat if you type like right here right if i just say one or something i don't know right right now it's gonna pop up as nothing or whatever because i don't have anything equipped but if i like uh, obtain the apricot by obtaining five titles there will be apricot with this thingy by my name and whatnot there will be like this and it keeps on going and stuff too 100 titles is the rarest one so if you guys want to grind that you guys can okay boys so here i am on my main account right now so if you are in dress rosa right now i'm gonna show you guys the location of the marco boss so basically if you spawn by right here uh you guys can just go right here and the marco boss should be there i'll show you guys that in a second actually first of all i want to actually go uh, show you guys where to change your titles and stuff so if you go right here there's an npc literally at the edge of the map on the right corner top right right here you guys can uh come right here and if you guys talk to him uh he will say blah 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 change your title then you can equip the titles that you got so right now i have uh exterminator i got mauler i got player kill streak of five swift one whatever you guys get the point the colors are basically what color you guys can have with the thing in chat so that's pretty cool if you guys want to do that anyways let's go to the boss location now so basically if you guys just follow me and you guys are right here all you want to do is keep on going this way and marco boss actually spawns on a hill so if i keep on going this way the next hill should be where he spawns in now you guys gotta be careful because in public servers i'm telling you bro people just be killing you for no reason so <laughs> try and avoid people and just level up using your moves uh in the air or whatnot but here is the location of the marco boss so if you just climb up this hill right here the marco boss should spawn up here now the thing with marco and any other boss is that they're gonna spawn every single hour the marco boss literally will spawn by right here and if people attack him that's the only way he will attack you or he's gonna just chill and not really attack you but if you do kill him there's a chance that he drops a phoenix fruit every boss will actually drop a fruit according to what boss it is and the marco boss there's a slight chance that it drops a phoenix fruit and it'll just go like on the bottom right here and then you guys can like click on it if you guys want to eat it but make sure you don't click it if you have a better fruit than that because yeah then it will uh spin away your fruit and then you're gonna replace it with the phoenix fruit or whatever fruit that drops from the bosses now while we're still in dress rosa i want to actually talk about soru now with soru as y'all can see this is the flash step thingy uh but to actually get soru it's pretty simple what you really need to do is get level 100 with the fruit and then you gotta kill players and get a certain amount of titles now i'll just show you guys where the npc is for that so you want to come to the marco boss location and the npc is actually in the mountain i know this is going to be pretty tricky but if you guys just drop down here there's a wall right here just use one of your moves on it and it should break so i'll just use my rock gun as y'all can see the wall actually breaks and what you want to do is go inside and there should be an npc all the way up here so this npc is basically going to tell you what you need to get soru and if i click on her oh hey again so did you find the book after all congrats now give me back my book and get out of this cave all right bye blah 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 you guys get the point she will tell you like you gotta kill the marco boss a couple times you gotta reach level 100 stuff like that but after uh you've done all of that you just got to go back to her and she will tell you to find the book now i'm gonna tell you guys the location of the book too so just follow me from right here you want to break the wall again get out of the wall and then you guys gotta just follow me the book should be by like the bridge by the coliseum it's pretty far from like the soru place lady but it's fine if you guys follow me you guys should be fine so i'm gonna jump over this wall but just go over this wall and come to the coliseum you guys can walk all the way around too if you guys really need to but keep on following me and i'll tell you guys where the book actually is get soru okay keep on going and going it should be the coliseum thingy and whatnot so just go on the front of the coliseum you guys should see a dope flamingo statue right here he's just chilling like a menacing devil 
but after that just come right here and make sure you guys don't fall in the water however the book should be in this little corner right here as y'all can see the book is here and then you can just pick it up and you guys should get soto you don't have to go back to the lady after that and then you guys should be able to flash step and stuff you know now soto is gonna save forever uh even if you go to a new fruit and it's like level zero and whatnot you just have to get it once but make sure it's on the same account because yeah you can't really transfer the accounts which kind of sucks but yeah you guys get the deal. now let's say you've spun an epic fruit or higher you've made it level 100 and you've defeated the marco boss and done all the things to get soto you guys can finally be ready to move on to cake land if you guys want to go to a different island and get a different challenge so all you want to do is Go to the Doflamingo statue and get to this Kuma NPC. It's literally in front of the Colosseum. Just come right here. And if you just click on it, as y'all can see, he would say, where would you like to go? Now, there are three islands in the game currently. It's the Dress Rosa one where we're at currently. The second one is Whole Cake. You need level 100 for that. Last one is Onigashima, which is the Land of Wano. And you need level 200 for that. So that's why I said to level up to 102 because... Of course, you need the titles, but you actually need that to go to Whole Cake as well. Real quick, before we actually go on to the Whole Cake land, there's another NPC, which is actually very important as well. So if I, so if you just follow me from the Kuma NPC, as y'all can see by the entrance of the Coliseum, there's actually a tournament and ranked mode NPC. So if you click on him, kind of looks like Usopp, I'm not going to lie, but He's going to ask you, what would you like to participate in? There's a tournament mode. There's also a rank fuels mode. They give you gems. They give you ranks. They give you stuff like that. And you guys can test out your skills on there if you want. It's pretty fun. There's a lot of content in it too. Uh, in the rank duels, there's a 1v1 mode. Or if you want to play with a friend, there's actually a 2v2 mode as well. In the tournament, in the tournament mode, it's only going to have 16 players, but all of them are going to fight it out and it's going to be like four rounds. And then the winner of that gets a certain amount of gems and stuff. So, yeah. And here's the leaderboard for that. If you guys want to uh, see the tournament wins or what now. But yeah, that's pretty much it for that NPC. Anyways, let's go on and head on over to Cake Land. Now, as y'all can see, if I click on Whole Cake, Kuma's gonna teleport me. It's pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Okay, boys. So here we are in Cake Land. Now, there's so many different spawns on this island. I'm not gonna lie. And uh, it is pretty big, but not really. So if I, I just spawned right here, and uh, I'll show you guys where the big mom boss actually spawns. But make sure you're careful here because there's so many sweats here. I'm telling you. There's mythical fruit users always, the gear five users the soul users which is the big mom fruit and there's just so many sweaty people so yeah if you're level 100 and you just started the game and whatnot it's gonna be pretty hard for you to be here but basically just go into the whole cake land the doors right here there's another entrance on that way you guys should see a chocolate fountain and the big mom boss will spawn in this big cake thingy i'll show you guys the location in just a second but before that if you guys want to head on over back to dress rosa and whatnot you guys can talk to the kuma npc he's literally by the chocolate fountain right here or the biggest like cake thing on the cake land where big mom boss spawns so if you guys want to go back to dress rosa go to the kuma npc and then you guys can uh click on dress rosa again if you'd really like however with that being said let's go on over to the big mom boss so if i just go to the chocolate fountain and walk straight he's literally gonna spawn on her throne and <laughs> i'm not gonna lie bro it could be very annoying if you guys are in a public server too because yeah everybody just be attacking you i'm not gonna lie because there's so many nico for users lightning for users leopard for users but she is gonna spawn right here and she has a chance of dropping the soul fruit Soul fruit is one of the best fruits in the game currently i'm not gonna lie and it's very op if you can learn the combos and stuff so yeah there's a chance of uh her dropping that and whatnot. okay boys so with that being said let's say you are level 100 with an epic fruit now i'm not gonna lie to you i would just recommend spinning it away because by then you guys should have a lot of gems saved up from all the titles you grind from getting soru by defeating the marco boss and just leveling up your fruit in general if you have an epic fruit i would just recommend going back to spin and spinning away 
that uh fruit and whatnot or if you have like another slot saved still then you guys can just spin it right there but now if you guys have uh enough gems and whatnot i would recommend going for legendary or mythicals i'm not gonna lie to y'all bro the game is pretty balanced to where if you get skilled enough you could probably be legendary and mythical fruits however if you guys get a legendary and a mythical fruit it's way easier to use because you can have more combos it can do more damage and stuff and it's just easier to use in general if you uh can become very skilled at it so once you do that i would just recommend spinning away the epic fruit and kind of going for a legendary or mythic because there's gonna be way too many sweaty players at cake line like i said and only gashima there's gonna be even tougher players so yeah i would just recommend spinning it away now let's say you get a mythical fruit and whatnot i have so many mythicals and stuff in my inventory i have the nika fruit equipped but just equip it and it's gonna be level zero so most likely you're probably gonna have to go back to dress rosa and try to level it up with mythicals and legendaries what i would recommend is maxing them out and if there's an epic that can be evolved like let's say flame version one can be evolved there's the magma fruit that can be evolved there's the light fruit that can be evolved i would just try to max them out because you do need max level to evolve the fruits and i'll just show you guys where the evolving npc is in just a second but once you get the mythical fruit try to max it out that's the most important thing okay boys so let's say you leech level 100 during cake land or whatnot just literally try to level up to level 200 because to actually go to the evolving NPC, most of the fruits that you evolve and whatnot are gonna require you to go to Onigashima. But there's only one fruit that requires Dress Rosa, which is the Dark X Quake. And I'll show you guys how to evolve Dark X Quake without spinning it and just trying to evolve the fruits. There's two re fruits required for that, but I'll show you guys that after I show you guys uh, how to evolve the other fruits, you know? So what you want to do is head on over to Onigashima, which is why you need level 200. So let's go on over to Onigashima. Oh, right, boys. Here we are in the land of Wano or Onigashima. Now, to actually evolve your fruits, you're going to have to head on over to the Momonosuke NPC. And he's literally in this big giant skull. I'm, I'm going to be surprised if you guys miss this giant skull because it's pretty hard to miss. I'm not going to lie. If you guys spawn inside, that's good for you too. But if you're out here and whatnot, you guys just want to head inside. But before I show you guys the location of that, the Kuma NPC in Onigashima is literally outside the big skull. So it should be like literally outside the big skull. And if you just walk here, Kuma NPC is literally here. So yeah. But anyways, now for the Momonosuke location, just keep on following me. There should be a set of stairs with like big red doors and we're going to be entering the skull of Wano. Okay, here we are at the live pro. We're literally inside the thing and this is what it looks like right here. And if you are like level 200 and not max level, just be careful because a lot of people, I'm not going to lie, bro. A lot of people in Wano, they be double teaming. Yeah, I know it's crazy, but like, bro, it's the truth. I'm not going to lie. Every video I'm making, I'm in the land of Wano i get double team triple team that's just crazy so yeah but if you guys keep on following me the momonosuke npc to evolve your fruits should be up there so if i just keep on going uh and climb up these stairs not stairs i mean ladder he should be up here okay here we are up here and here is the momonosuke npc he's pretty little but if i just click on him would you like to swap your fruit from nika to chance your brother you are able to swap here anytime that's what it says for me right now because I already maxed out my time skip rubber and evolved it to the Nika fruit. But it should pop up with a bunch of dialogues and just skip over the dialogues. And at the end, it's going to tell you what you need to do. Most likely, it's going to say reach level 300, which is the max level. Solo the Kaido boss with the fruit five times. And then it's going to tell you to get 30 titles uh, right here. So that's why I said to get the fruits that you get to level 100 or above. Because a lot of the titles are literally get your fruits to level 100. Look at this, bro. <laughs> oh my God. Get level 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100. You guys get the point. There's like so many titles at level 100, but yeah you guys are gonna have to grind for that now since we're already here the Kaido boss actually spawns 
behind these doors so you guys go to the momonosuke npc and you guys just walk up here the location of kaido is behind this door so you guys should get teleported to the wano heights or the clouds of wano and the kaido boss literally just spawns in right here all the bosses actually have two forms so once you deplete their health in their base form they switch on over to their transformation and transformation is harder to fight and whatnot but if you guys are in a public server people will start fighting them for you and stuff too so yeah one more thing to kill bosses and get credit for them all you really need to do is hit them once but i'm pretty sure the more damage you do the more gems you get don't quote me on that because i'm actually unsure about that but yeah okay boys so um like i said i've already showed you guys the location of kaido now and i've showed you guys how to evolve your fruits now one last thing i want to show you guys is how to evolve uh dual fruits into dark x quake so basically if you want to evolve your fruits into dark x quake first you need the quake fruit and you need the darkness version one fruit and then you're gonna have to head on over to the caesar npc which is in dress rosa and i'll show you guys the location uh, in just a second but yeah you guys gotta make sure they're both max level i'm pretty sure and then you gotta get like 30 titles pretty hard but i'll show you guys the location and uh you guys can just go to the npc and see what you need okay boys so first things first like i said you're gonna have to go to dress rosa so go to the kuma npc and head on over back to dress rosa okay here we are and we spawn in the right place unfortunately my character is glitched so i can't run or do anything however if you literally just go on to this corner of the map there should be a water fountain like right there and whatnot uh and then the caesar npc is literally right here by this building you guys should be able to find it because uh the coliseum is right there it's literally to the right of the coliseum just go straight you guys should be at the caesar npc and this is the caesar npc caesar the clown so he will say blah 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 after years of extender you were strong enough to test my subject blah 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 something like that so basically he's gonna tell you what you need to actually evolve and get the dark x quake you guys can spend all the fruits too uh that are able to evolve and stuff so yeah that's just up to you if you guys want to evolve it or spin for the fruits but yeah boys that's pretty much it on the beginner's guide for fruit battlegrounds i'm not gonna lie i feel like i missed something but i don't think so but if i did make sure you guys let me know in the comment section below because yeah it was a pretty long guide i would say because there was so much stuff to go over but i'll give you guys a quick summary hop in game go to spin try to get an epic legendary or a mythical using the codes that you redeemed from google and whatnot after you've gotten an epic and you still have gems left just go on to the next slot and try to spin for a legendary or mythical and if you guys keep on getting epics that's fine too just choose the best epic and hop in game and if you guys get the legendary or mythical just keep it don't spend no more gems because that's good enough just hop in game instead after that just level up by using your moves randomly like keep on using your moves outside the safe zone because you will get levels just by using the moves but be careful because people just be attacking you for no reason and just hunting you down if you're a noob so yeah try to get to level 100 though because you're gonna unlock a title and it will be substantially easier on you uh because you unlock more moves and stuff now in dress rosa like i said every hour the marco boss spawns and if you guys just touch him once and other people kill him that's fine too because you get kill credit and you get the gems and stuff the reason why you want to kill the marco boss is because to get soru i'm pretty sure the soru lady is gonna tell you to kill the marco boss five times get a title get titles and stuff and then get kills uh you guys can go to the soda lady like i showed you and just try and do what she says after you've done that you guys gotta get the book to actually get soda and you guys should be set for life for the soda thing once you've done that you guys should be able to go on to cake land because you're level 100 and to do that you gotta go on over to the kuma npc and just go on to cake land but like i said in cake land i would recommend having a legendary or a mythical fruit because there's so many sweaty players there's teamers and stuff and it's just annoying but in cake land there is the big mom boss which you can solo also and she has a chance of dropping the soul fruit but it's a very tiny chance so if you guys get it you guys are lucky because it's one of the best fruits in the game i'm telling y'all bro but after that if you guys do have any epic fruits or anything like that that you want to evolve and that are evolvable you guys can just search up what fruits are evolvable by the way you guys can go on to the momonosuke npc by reaching level 200 in the land of wano 
and just do and follow what he says it's gonna be pretty hard i'm not gonna lie to y'all but you guys can also spin for the fruits that you want to evolve but yeah boys then you guys can just solo the kaido boss go on to ranked mode do tournament mode just run around kill players and stuff like that that's pretty much the game because it's literally fruit battlegrounds but it is fun to play so yeah hopefully this video helped y'all anyways boys that was the whole beginner guide to fruit battlegrounds i have made a video like this before but i never talked about soto and other stuff and the game's updated a lot since then so yeah this was basically a part two you could say out of that this is the new one the other one's outdated but hey if this video helped y'all make sure you guys like and subscribe with all bell notifications on if you guys want to join my discord server alongside my robot group link will be in the pinned comments slash description below last but not least if you guys want to watch more cool battleground content y'all can just click the top right here corner of the screen or click the link in the description below as well anyways with that being said hopefully you guys have an amazing wonderful fantastic day and peace out